What we have here is a Swintec system that is out of time. The way you know it's out of time is because this side is fully extended, as opposed to this side, which is still approximately four inches from full extension. The way to retime the Swintec system is simple. You would go to the switch and depress the out button until the slide out fully extends. You would then depress the in button and bring the slide in eight to 10 inches. We would then repeat this process a minimum of three times until the system fully retimes. The way you'll know the system has retimed is because both sides would then extend or retract at the same time. The reason we need to run the system in and out three times is to give the system an opportunity to resync itself. The Schwintec system has two motors that counts revolutions. This is what keeps the system in sync or parallel. When the system is not fully extended or fully retracted each and every time, the controller loses its zero point. When we run the system in and out three times, it allows that controller to find the zero point. Now let's talk about preventing your system from getting out of time. When you extend or retract the system, at the end of the stroke, you want to stay on the switch for approximately three to five seconds to assure that the controller is able to recognize the zero point. 